Thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Templeman. The university told protesting students that if they didn't leave by noon today, they lose their academic immunity, which means they could now face disciplinary actions or even issues in their classes. And we just got an update from President Carl Schulz. Now, we have live team coverage of today's developments. Jennifer Singh will join us in a moment to talk about Jewish students and other students on campus who are feeling, uh, feeling the protests have begun to disrupt the learning process and made some feel ill at ease. Uh, but first, Joey Vaca is live with a look back at today's developments as they unfolded. Joey, what did President Schulz have to say today? That's right, Matt. You mentioned the letter from President Schultz. Now, one of the lines that stuck out the most is in that letter, he said, since the encampment hasn't been removed, they will be moving forward with the student conduct process related to violating campus policy. So it's kind of unclear what that exactly means, but you have to assume that if the university will be moving forward with their policy of what happens when students violate their campus policy, some punishments could be handed down. Again, it's still unclear what exactly that means, but we got that letter not too long ago. Here at the encampment, not much has changed. As you can look behind me, that deadline was for noon today, but protesters still camped out. Faculty was out this morning to show their support. And like we said, the biggest news today was that 12 o'clock deadline when protesters would have their academic amnesty revoked. But that deadline came with kind of a lot of confusion for everybody involved. So you're looking at video right now of what the scene looked like this morning during a morning rally right around the 12 noon deadline. I talked with multiple faculty members and the university as well as bystanders and even parents, but nobody seemed to know exactly what the threat of losing academic amnesty meant. So I talked with one community member. They said by granting the protesters amnesty, the university was acknowledging the protest as a valid action, even if it violated policy. But by revoking it, the community member felt that came as a threat that the campers could be removed. I asked one of the student protesters what they thought the notice meant. Take a listen. At this point in time, what we take academic consequences to be or like the, rev the um, revocation of academic am amnesty means that the students who are here do now face the threat of suspension or expulsion from the school. And everybody, it seems like, is prepared to put up with that? Correct. Yeah, like you heard Smith say, the protesters are prepared to risk suspension or possible expulsion. And in that letter sent not that long ago, UL President Carl Schulz says that by asking protesters to end the encampment, he's not limiting students' free expression or right to assembly. He just wants them to do it, quote, within the established rules of the university. So also on scene today, as that rally was going on at 1030, just before the deadline, were a lot of bystanders and students at the university because word spreads quickly. They all knew about that 12 o'clock deadline. But because nobody knew exactly what that meant there was a kind of sense that maybe at 12 the police would come in and forcibly remove the campers that's clearly not been the case there hasn't been a police presence really at all today uopd we couldn't see them here this morning and if you look around everybody's still doing fine and there's still no police presence now now a sense among the students has been in there has been to maintain peaceful activities because they're calling this a peaceful protest the messages from the university have still been to keep activities peaceful and i haven't been able to hear if there's any plan to involve the university police as far as any plans to move the camp and how long the campers plan to stay i talked to some of them earlier today and i'll let you know what their plans are next coming up on kzi 9 news at five but for now reporting live in eugene joey vaca kzi 9 news matt we'll send it back to you